we just got to be a little more careful with how we pick some of these things. All right, so are we actually doing theta aliens right now? So we'll do these research projects as well. System survey complete. And we've got almost four mining stations. Let's go ahead and get that, just so we can get the influence bonus. And we have more engineering research as well, so we can unlock the destroyer and we can unlock the spaceport level 3, defense platform or engineering facility. Well, I don't feel like we need a defense platform just yet, so we'll do. That's going to take a lot longer, but that'll be okay. 60 months. And I wanted to definitely put you in orbit. So these Theta aliens, what do you know? This alien vessel has unknown capabilities. It better... Okay, it's just sciencing right now. Do we shoot them down here? So, void cloud unclouded. The void clouds are, as far as the Rixian research can tell, among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just a scant few billion years as matter as we know it first appeared. The tremendous forces of the young cosmos making something out of nothing. They have been stars once, but were not. Explaining the apparent animal intelligence is more difficult, but the answer might be that the abnormally strong electromagnetic fields that keep them together, another product of their primordial beginnings. It's not inconceivable that given enough time, the circulation of strange stardust and gravitonic fields align into a flexible approximation of neural pathways. Moreover, the clouds seem to be receiving impulses from one another. They're not alright communicating light years apart. Quantum entanglement is expected to play a role. So can these impulses be traced? Or they will not stand it away. So, Cloud Buster modifier added, giving the ability to kill them, or we want to see where else we can trace them. So, someone else knows there's a guy in world now. So, the crystalline entities are unbreakable. Uh, the name itself goes on there. The earlier, perhaps more descriptive name for them was Silicate Animate Matter, as they have little in common with biological life. They are solitary beings, each individual crystal sovereign, rarely seen with more than a sentinel. And another smaller cohort entity, aside from the cohort and Sentinel, clearly being subservient to the Sovereign of the group. The subtle nuances of the crystalline entity's socio-hierarchical relationships are lost on us. The entities do not seem to mate, and we may yet observe any crystals that are recognized older or younger than others. Contrary to early hypotheses, the shifts in hue between the individual crystalline entities seem to be related not to the age, but to their latent internal charge, which, we, which can be violently unleashed if appear though sporadic fluctuations is charged alter the refractive properties of the crystal so as crystalline sonar modifier due to empire spent 30 to instantly survey a crystalline entity system when entered nice Special project complete. so space amuse for wow we're just getting all the things now the name has struck the pronunciation of the proper xenotoxin uh our t xenotex xenotoxin is very different xenotexomic uh denominator too unwieldy for the average rixie are solitary and I just realized I think that having some of the screen stuff over here is actually blocking some key information so I apologize we'll put that over here derp 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 should have seen that a while ago all right that's a little better I feel so dumb but I guess that's what I get for uh, I'm excited to stream I'm not exactly <laughs> paying attention sometimes but anyway, uh, we're left to their own devices. All but the youngest specimens are accompanied by quasi-independent flagella, organisms spawned by the amoeba and programmed through liquid RNA-laced uh, secretions do the bidding for the host. And these flagella are capable of manipulating and even attacking objects in impressive yet restrictive range around the host, periodically returning to the lodge inside the host amoeba's body for reprogramming. Lovely. Alright, so we have... How are we doing with our communications for the Theta people? Now we have uh, our mining station almost there. We have Science Ship Ascend. We're probably going to get kicked out of that system in just a second. But that's okay because we are going to kick these guys so hard out of this system in just a second. So Plume of Grey has been elected Consul. And we have a new mandate. Really? So you barely, you barely didn't make it. Habitable World Survey 7 of 8. 
We're back down. We got a hard reset on that. We'll get it eventually. We just need to get our uh, planets put out here before we get over here. So I think that made sense. I'm not so sure. So we've got research chugging along. Right now we're just going five by five by five, which is one reason we need to get a second construction ship, but we need to get a bigger fleet. And after successfully translating the language, we've established communication with the Interstellar Kavarik Combine. Diplomatic relations are now open. And look, it's more bird bros. I speak on half of the Interstellar uh, Quivats Combine, and I come with a message of your depraved species as long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader emperor with reverence there may yet be peace respect our thortai is what i will say so ascend was forced to leave because we're within their borders so they hate us why do they hate us they have superior military what do you know they are unfriendly with us why are they unfriendly with us border friction new contact xenophobia and they're at war with an unidentified empire. So we definitely need to, ooh. Ooh. I was about to say, we did not just lose out on uh, the Gaia world, did we? Oh, we did. We shouldn't have translated shit. This means now they have to die. <laughs> Oh, you guys, it's so sad. And you have a you're, you're wormhole species too. Okay, well we know now that we we know what we have to do now. We have to go ahead and start uh, getting our fleet ready because we have a Gaia world that we need to take from somebody else. We even got our colony ship ready and everything. That's just no fair. How come they get to spread their stuff out that far? I mean, they got a nice space blob over this way, too. I'll tell you what I should have done. What I should have done, and this is partly me being new, I should have dropped a frontier outpost out here the moment that I saw there was a Gaia world. So, yeah. That's a little bit silly, but... That's the way it goes. So we have one more place that we can possibly do over here. We do actually have uh, Corvettes that we can start building. We can kind of upgrade these as well. We go to the ship designer real quick. I haven't done that very much here. Uh, if we auto-complete the ship right now, we have just a bunch of tiny little lasers. We can throw some shields on it. I mean, some defensive capabilities are certainly helpful. Although we're not going to be able to hit anything and hurt it at all. So you are still colonizable, but you're not that big, 15. I mean, that's not awful. Alright, construction ship, I think you need to throw some mining bases out here. There's a lot of things, there's a lot of good stuff. Wow, you know what, let's just start building here. We want Betharian stone. And three minerals, System please. Thanks. Complete. Seven percent chance of research fail too. Thanks. So I guess my other question is: first murder? Are they about to get murdered? Entirely possible. So are there any hostiles here right now? None to speak of. We've recovered our artifacts of an ancient alien civilization of Amblasia or Ambizia 1. The scientists think they in, uh, inhabited this region of stars roughly 6 million years ago. Based on the age of the artifacts, the aliens call themselves Yunt and appear to have very large and flat uh, arthropod analogs. It seems a single individual could reach a length of nearly 100 meters as an adult. And it would be apparently pretty rare for them not to do so. So, let's go ahead and move here. I don't think we can colonize without having knowledge, but we need to, uh, they have a superior fleet right now, of course they do, we barely build anything. We need to up our fleet, we need to up our fleet cap, we're going to have more planets. There's a few ways we can up our fleet cap. We need more spaceports is one of them. But fortunately we've been building up our mineral wealth really well. 
so far or mineral generation so if we can like I think the best course of action since this is gonna be our Corvette factory planet for a lot of it their surveys of habitable worlds so biologists have collected vast amounts of data and now they have exobiology which is fun so we get research and credits you can see this Corvette costs way more now so that 10% is going to add up. So we can go ahead and just keep building you guys. You know what else we can do? Just go ahead and upgrade this fleet. These guys seem to be the new addition, maybe. So that's going to spend some money for just a little bit. So we're losing some on ship maintenance. But yeah, we're, I think we're going to be invading some worlds, especially if... What? The United uh, Unidentified Empire... Declared war on the Slenspar Star Mandate. That's you guys. So alien proto-civilization encounter. I was wondering when we get one of these. The survey Azram of has revealed that there are certain regions of the planet that are home to a primitive alien proto-civilization. Our probe showed that their Neolithic culture has mastered fire and developed a rudimentary spoken language. We have yet to see any evidence of metallurgy or written communications. And wow, 0% failure risk. We'll still find a way. Uh, seems life has found a way even on a planet torn between the extremes of rocky soils and liquid seas. So this is a very interesting system if I can just find it. First off is the uh, primitive species here? I don't think so. No, so we can go ahead and send the column. Wow. That's a bunch of tile blockers. But some of that's quicksand, and we are researching that away. But we don't have a lot of places where we can actually put stuff. Ugh, like, I hate setting up the colony here. We lose one adjacency bonus. But, like, we lose good tiles. You know, I could probably afford to lose some energy. We'll just put it here. So that'll give us more border friction, which is just what we want, and we are definitely going to be taking this guy world. So Iota aliens, and what else do we got? Okay, we're getting we're getting just two destroyers ever so slowly, and we have wow, we have no scientists. I guess part of it is because we keep losing scientists, like they keep dying. At least our exploration ships are still going. All right. Anomaly research speed higher, research speed particles. Our leader recruitment cost is less. Let's use you. It's like I was wondering what was going on with some of the stuff. Okay, we got two people that are available. Did I lose a ship or something somewhere? Like Eyes of Teal's just sitting there. Plume of Purple. All right, weird. I swear that person or that person just disappeared on me. Anyway, we're gonna need this construction ship Anomaly to do some work before long. So seven percent failure upgraded. risk. Construction Second murder's been fully upgraded. And fascinating creatures roam the plains of the coast of Azuma Four. The Ascend reports that life forms are using tools, however primitive, and may have potential for eventually achieving sentience. Science Officer Eyes of Yellow stresses that find the alien life in this state. It's a rare opportunity we should pay special attention, maybe even uplift, to become our subjects. Something to keep in mind in the future. So, this has people on it. And the Rechthalar Mammalian Presentient uh, irradi Irradiated? What? Stone Age Primitives. Still irradiated, continental preference. You know, let's actually go, let's let's do this. I haven't really had this opportunity here to do it otherwise, but we are gonna go ahead and change our policies. And we can work on lifting them. It's going to take forever. But that's part of the fun, so war, all these notices are down. We're actually losing money, but that's fine because we're running a huge surplus. And uh, Kralt is why we're losing money. Alright. 
So while approaching Part 3, the scenic- oh god. Did we just seriously have that happen? Glancing hit. While approaching Parenthia, the ascending eye suddenly received. Glancing hit by several passing mass drive rounds, projectiles were billions of years old. And based on the trajectory, they appear to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. Wow. After missing their intended target, they continued their journey for untold millennia until today, the rounds. We have recovered are of an advanced design despite their incredible age. Wow. So that was that went that could have gone worse. Construction complete. Yes. So we're definitely gonna build an observation post here. No we're not. We're gonna build Let's hear it. This is what one thing I need to figure out. Let's go ahead and go let's go ahead and go to our policies. And we are gonna go native enlightenment. So we can select this policy option. Do you wish to change the enlightenment within our empire? We'll be able to change the stance for 10 years. Policy will have these effects, though. Sharing our knowledge can be to encourage natives to take the rightful place to ours. We may enlighten primitives. All right. So I guess the next question is, this may be a point where I just need to look it up and make sure and see. How do we actually get these people to come up to us like we're right here this lies within our space barely but that's only because we've uh, gone ahead and colonized System something else complete. so construction ship we can build a research station I need to I, like I said I need to just figure out what exactly we need to do. If there's an extra technology we need to research or something. Uh, oh wow, we got another guy a world? Are you serious? And this is a way bigger guy a world? And you know what we're going to do this time. Exactly what I said we were going to do last time. So habitability, question mark, question mark, question mark. All about the guys today apparently we lucked out unless we have a fallen empire it's suddenly gonna be like a nerp you can't do that guy world oh here we go we were receiving a chance from what did I just say they appear to have successfully translated our language the diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment your axo prime I bring greetings from the revered leader uh, Vakrana, the elected leader of the XR Union, we believe the right of all sentient beings to fulfill their individual spiritual needs, and we hope you share this sentiment. I think this is a fallen empire, the Eryxio Union, because it requires a colony ship. Maybe not. No, it's definitely not a fallen empire. But this construction ship is now... Well, I have to scan the star first. There we go. Now we can build this in. I need to merge these fleets. Oh, the second murder. That's fine. And we need to go ahead and get another colony ship. Do we seriously only have... Okay, this will be our fifth planet. So we have a bigger blob than other things, than other people. We're almost to the point of being able to build a colony ship. I really want to get one of these guys. It's amazing that I've found two Gaia Worlds so far. And didn't even get one of them. Now, like I said before, Gaia Worlds are not like perfect, perfect, perfect utopias, but that just sounds like someone who's uh, bitter with not being able to find things. Uh, let's see. Colony ship. We can finally build it. So let's look at how terrible this surface is. Pretty terrible. But we have some decent tiles. Right. I think we also need to go ahead after this ship is done constructing. We're just going to go ahead and build a wormhole station. 
And we'll build it over here. I don't think we have Hyperlane Empire so far. System survey complete. Oh, interesting. So we still do have the bug after all, where it's like we can't build here, but for some reason the sun's just making different cast on the red. It's just a visual thing that doesn't really bother me very much. Okay, so this is in somebody else's system. So see, this is good. We're starting to get boxed in. We're starting to get into the paradox part of the game. And because we're in a ring system, we don't have to worry about it. And we're skipping this one. So faint transmission coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of a gas giant. We're going to leave it alone. Like I said, we have, we have other worlds that we need to take. We could potentially crush any of these people. I just have to get my... I just have to keep the peace for now. So, con what? What? So, the Araxio Union, new contact border friction mater materialist fools. Uh, their opinion of us, they rivaled us. Ah, okay. Border friction xenophobia. They are still equivalent to us. They're all equivalent, and you guys are not so bad. Well, you know what, guys? I got I got some words for you here. Uh, you appear vaguely avian, but your low morals make me wonder if our xenobile just aren't mistaken. You are cute. Let's go ahead and declare you as a rival, too. We'll give us 1.8 influence for this month and make their rivals friendlier towards us. So they are collectivist fanatic xenophobes. Well, if you're so xenophobic, why do you like us so much? So these, so we have some rivals, we have some fighting. So we have a few, we have a split set of goals right here. We need to go ahead and get some stuff started, especially with the border friction that's coming here pretty soon. And we have an arid world that we're not going to be able to colonize right now. Alright, so you're almost done. We're going to have another wormhole station over here too, and that'll help us kind of pump out to this side. We could even possibly take out both of their planets. Not a bad trade. Alright. Now like I said before, we do need to increase our fleet capacity. Actually don't have other modules, that's really weird. But I guess when I was going on so long without actually getting research, that would do it too. Let me pick some slower research. 7% failure rate. At first glance, this moon does not seem capable of supporting living beings. Nevertheless, we detect of life signs emanating from somewhere beneath its frozen surface. So that's Thenim 7, so right over here. This is apparently an interesting system, too. I wonder if my frontier outpost... Yeah, we actually got it. We have held on to probably the better guy world. Let's just be perfectly honest here. And we have our colony ship that we will send immediately over here to colonize. So many good places to go. You get rid of the society research, diverse terrain with biomes that are eminently suitable for the most forms of life. This is all good. We don't need the society research spot as much. What we need to do is to build up our fleets, and we need to, you know, what else we need to do? I said we need to do it before we finally need to build that second construction ship. We got a lot of infrastructure we got to build. We are not maximizing our space at all. And I think we still have some crystalline entities over here that are going to be an issue. So we have minor mandates. How long do we have? This is influence that I could be getting. We're actually getting a lot of influence right now. Uh, is there anywhere that I want to put... Well, it looks like I have a lot more places to actually research over here. We can go ahead and put a... Uh, let me just unpause this. There's a lot of resources in this system. It may not be terrible to put a uh, thingy over here to at least grab some of these other planets. So deep scans of uh, Thorum 7 or Thorum 8A have revealed a large ocean heated by hydrothermal vents beneath the ice mantle. Covering the surface, science officer Eyes of Yellow dispatch probes that ascend 
I drilled through several miles of thick ice and found the water below teeming with life. We need more resources to conduct a more thorough study of the many unique life forms of the ocean. Situation so, updated. can we do that? Let's see if we can. Yeah, we can. We can do it right now. Alright, so deep sea exploration. We can call the Octonauts. See how that goes. So we do have some dust clouds here. Uh, let's just move here for now. I think eventually we're going to want to kind of grab some area, but at least getting the frontier outpost will kind of stop forward expansion. And unlike other places, there's a decent amount of resources here. So let's see here, 190, costs extra influence to put over here. So here we go. Now we need to start getting additional construction. Yeah, we can't go any faster. So hostile crystallinity. We're really starting to dip into the negatives. Is there anything we can do? Well, we're, we're obviously doing that because we have a Gaia world. So awesome. And we have nothing right here right now. In fact, you're growing pretty damn slow. You guys are growing pretty slow. But considering there's not much food to be had on this planet, I guess I'm not too surprised. In fact, we're gonna have some trouble. We're gonna have some pretty big troubles growing this planet. This could be a good location for a spaceport if I can get the hydroponics farms to put up above it. So science officer Eyes of Yellow has returned to the expedition that studied the rich biosphere of the seas beneath the ice mantle of Ascend. Several large species native to the lower region of the global sea have been found to produce a unique enzyme which immenses heating pro uh, properties. This enzyme is successfully harvested in large enough quantities it could revolutionize the field of medical science. Living metal discovered. Interesting. And is this in our borders? It's not, barely. But there's not really a great reason to go there. What can we do for... Because I, I need to start thinking about energy and unemployed pops and all that. So we want this pop. We want to switch you guys up. Because you'll get a little bit more from there. We need to put a basic hydroponics farm. We need to go ahead and upgrade you. We can't upgrade you yet. But planetary administration would be really nice. We need more of that on some other planets. We don't need any more colonization, although we we have five planets. We're about to have five planets here. So we've got some influence. This always takes influence. But getting some other stuff built would be good too. So planetary administration, go. We got a second construction ship in just a second too. As we get a little save game notification right there. Alright. So we got pops not working on tiles right now. That'll change in just a minute. We're still going pretty fast. I'm curious about what the... Uh, going rate is for some of this here, so science ship. It's been fun and everything over on this side. Uh, let's see what we can get before the borders close. So this science ship, let's go ahead and send you, I think we can't go there. Like, I just want to see how far we can stretch. What did we find here? More crystalline entities. And what kind of planet? Tundra world, so that doesn't really matter. Established. Cool. Construction ship. We got two of them now. What can we do? We need to build some mining stations. Alright. 
not just for fun, but for the mandates. And then I think we also, is there's a good frontier outpost as well. Uh, we've encountered the Kappa aliens. Yay. I don't know where we encountered them or why we encountered them, but we did. Alright, so you're going there already. One mining station. By the time you even get over there, we should be able to get another mining station. And will that complete the mandate? Three or four. That's got to do it. It's not election time, right? Next election, 10 to... Oh my god. Campaign elect new council. We'll be done here. Uh, who's our leader right now? Because right now our uh, loyalist faction don't seem to really care. They like feathers of white. Who had deep money influence, eat at cost, reduce. So we got a lot of people running. Uh, Claws of Red, Eyes of Teal, Offworld Miner. Let's actually support him. So 50 here, let's break the deadlock a little bit. 34 might be enough, but that's more of a plurality, and we got plenty of influence, so 44 should definitely be enough. Let's give you, Mr. Teal. A chance to come back and make uh, the Rixian space great again. Perhaps. Oh my god, is that another Gaia world? Is this just the game of Gaia worlds right now? I swear. How did I miss these? Alright. Well, we may need to do some planetary administration before too long. And this area has actually not been surveyed. Yeah, let's, I want you to just... You're going up here. You're going over here. I want you to survey here first. Yeah, I don't know why all the guy worlds just decided to come play over on this side. That's so... That's so funny. We have detected the presence of primitive alien species. Primitive alien species. They appear to be in the later stage of the Bronze Age, having mastered early metalworking. Although most of their populations rule, several large city states have formed. We should consider building an observation post to study them more closely. So I am going to need to look up and make sure I understand exactly what goes into uplifting these species. I feel pretty silly that I just got it wrong before, but we have another arid world. Like I said, multiple Gaia Wards just all around. Apparently, you can just get the luck of the draw and they can be pretty common here. But we got a lot of Corvettes. And Eyes of Teal has been elected the Consul of the Rixian Protectorate. Yay! And once again, we somehow barely didn't get the mining bases done in time. Come on, guys. We tried to do it in time for the election. So let's see here. They hate us. Uh, we like ourselves. They consider us equivalent. Primitive feudalism cockroaches. Love it. And theocratic the republic as well. So despotic empire, military republic. Let's go ahead and research here Systems for the unusual the energy. And what other things can we do, Mr. Construction Ship? That's not where the construction ship is. Construction right. complete. We should be able to build a mining station here in just a second. There we go. So we received communique from the previous unknown spacefaring empire that called themselves the Vag O Star Republic. They claim to have learned our existence while listening to the comms of other people. So I speak on the behalf of Vag O Star Republic. You look lovely. We have a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedoms of citizens. Our uh, galaxy full of alien horrors are like the leader, President Tober warns you not to interact with our citizens or approach our space so we'll respect our authority or else okay we'll do that in a second i want to do mining stations 
Okay, a micro singularity recently intersected ACR 4A, passing straight through the core and emerging out the other side of the moon. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but it has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that defies our current scientific models. For current study, may be warranted. So, the seers over here. Wow, there's just lots of good stuff. And we have another Gaia world. This is 15, so not, it's no, uh, it's nothing like over here. Construction complete. So, cruise cocoon. What do we have on the surface over here? Other than lots of auto saving. Pretty much we have food for everyone. Happiness for snacks all the time. Vast mountain range, dangerous animals. How do we clear the mountain range? We just flatten it. Active volcano. And a second construction ship. So we just need to get our uh, infrastructure together. Okay, that's not in our space, so we can build over here. Uh, I'll tell you what we need to do. Next construction ship that's done, we need to build a... Uh, well, we got a wormhole generator. Or we got a wormhole over there. Never mind. And we got... We need to put some research stuff up here, too. I guess it is time where we can start pumping System out our fleets a little bit. Once again, our technology is just... It feels like it's at a standstill. Like, it really does. Maybe there's a bug, or maybe there's something I missed. But it feels like my technology has not progressed for a long time. And I'm not sure what that's all about. I'll have to review the bods here. But it is getting probably around time for me to cut this, and that it's not something worse. Probably it's just my own incompetence. Because like, ooh, Gaia World, ooh, Gaia World. But we have a pretty good size 5x5 five five space blob right now. And we have some animosity in our ring galaxy. So there's the Rixian Protectorate. We are cooler than the rest of you guys, even if our borders are starting to abut you. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. These guys are blobbing out pretty hardcore, so we should probably stay on the good side and just try and go south through the ring. But that's it. Thanks for watching. We will do the stream again sometime here soon, and also look on the YouTube channel for uh, more updates there. But thanks for watching. Let me hit the pause button before things happen while I'm not paying attention. But yeah, there we go. Just one more view of our crazy space. It's been fun. Uh, Stellaris, it's coming out May 9th. Be on the lookout for it. But thanks for watching. That's it for now. This is Asher. See you next time. Stream again sometime here soon. And also look on the YouTube channel for uh, more updates there. But thanks for watching. Let me hit the pause button before things happen while I'm not paying attention. But yeah, there we go. Just one more view of our crazy space. It's been fun. Uh, Stellaris, it's coming out May 9th. Be on the lookout for it. But thanks for watching. That's it for now. This is Asher. See you next time.